Saturday, my next guest defeated Evander Holyfield to become the undisputed heavyweight boxing champion of the world. Please welcome Lennox Lewis. <laughs> First of all, uh, congratulations. you got to be very excited about this. Very excited. Being the only champion in the world, that's great. Yeah, I would imagine. Yeah. <laughs> Believe me, I've been there. I know what it's like. <laughs> you see, I'm an amazing athlete. No, uh, <laughs> you now hold all four belts. Is that right? Right. Because boxing, has be it's become so fractured. This is quite an achievement. How many belts did you get from Holyfield then? From, I, got, you get I got two belts from Holyfield. It was you had two and you got two. Right. Are you thinking at all about melting all four belts into like one heavyweight hat and just simplifying? Definitely make it a crown. A cr oh, yeah. <laughs> clearly it's gone to your head. Now, <laughs> now I must fight you and teach you a lesson. Uh, <laughs> you seem really afraid. Yeah. Um, you were all over the press for winning, but also you made a statement that uh, everybody picked up on. And your statement was that you abstained <laughs> from sex uh, before the fight. How long did you abstain from sex? About three months. Damn! Wow. Man. <laughs> Man. <laughs> you really wanted yeah. to win, didn't yeah. you? Oh, yeah, I wanted to win. Apparently, I'm in training. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the important thing... By my calculations, that would beat you. Yeah. Um, uh, that's got to be. That's. Let's talk about that. That's got to be hard. It's got to be difficult. No, it's not difficult because you know what you want to do, uh, and the main thing is that. That would be the problem, you know. <laughs> you put all that energy into your training and 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 punishing the other guy for making you wait so long. There you go. <laughs> I've held out like three months for you. Now you're gonna get it. Right. So right. I'm just itching to get at him. Well, you now, want that bear? <laughs> <laughs> you need the no, masturbating that, bear out of this. That bear had a problem. <laughs> now you, uh, did you guys, did, this was some fight, did you guys see the fight? Hell yeah, I watched your fight in Texas. Yeah? Yeah, and they was rooting, I'm no, you know, no bit mad, they was rooting for Holyfield like, like, you know what I mean, like he was the... Okay, well, who were you rooting for? I was rooting for you, man, because he's here, but I'm saying, like, you know, I was rooting for you, but I had to keep it on the down low. You don't want to make, call too much attention to yourself in Denny's in Texas, you know. <laughs> keep it to yourself, yeah. Was, uh, who are you going to fight next? Do you know who you're going to fight next? Well, I know the public wants me to probably fight Tyson, and, uh, but he's been a naughty boy lately, so if he can, if he can, uh, sort himself out and behave himself a bit better because I've seen him in one fight throw an elbow biting in one fight the last fight he just had hitting after the bell so you know next thing he probably pulled my hair or something <laughs> hairnet <laughs> he'd be fine now would you really be concerned about that or that he'd, that he'd do something like that not yeah. in the ring yeah because he's been known to do those kind of things and yeah. uh, I don't think the, I think the public's kind of sick of it right now because they pay so much They pay, they pay so much money to watch the fight, and then all of a sudden, like, it goes one round. Why? Because he hit him after the bell, and it's like, you know, all the anticipation and thinking that it's going to be a great fight turns into a lackluster performance. Hitting after the bell, though, is an amazing strategy when you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding, guys headed back to his corner, hit him in the back of the head. I won, I won! That's what I would do. <laughs> that would be my big strategy. Uh, now, we've, we've had Holyfield on the show. He has a restaurant. Um, we've had Foreman on the show. He has the lean, mean, what is it? The lean, mean grilling machine. <laughs> it's important for fighters to have, you know, some kind of product. Do you have one? Do you have like a blender or anything? Or no, I've got two health centers, though. You have health centers? Yeah. Are you thinking of branching out into anything else? Uh, I'm an entrepreneur. I can get into anything. Okay. Know? Yeah, I've got some good business savvy in me. You okay. should sponsor comedians. <laughs> <laughs> You're a funny fella, so you don't need <laughs> you, uh, you had 6,000. <laughs> He's gonna put money in there, you'll see. You'll... I'm telling you, man, you'll make your money back. I'm like a racehorse with this comedy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Uh, we're all gonna want to get in on that. Uh, you had 6,000 British fans at the fight. Yeah, it was and great. at one point in the fight, they start singing. 
What is that all about? Is that what they do in, in Britain? I mean, yeah, it's like it, they bring it over from the f uh, football games, which are soccer games, and uh, it was exciting to hear them make a song about me. You know, there's only one Lennox Lewis walking along, singing a song, <laughs> walking in the Lewis Wonderland. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you're getting so much strength from that singing because, of, yeah, wow, it's singing about me. Yeah, but it just doesn't seem like a song that would inspire you to fight. <laughs> you'd be it's, like, huh, and then you'd be like, no, 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 no. Let's in, roast marshmallows. The song's in unison, so it feels good. Okay. All right, well, obviously it worked. And the, the championship fight's going to be rebroadcast this Saturday at 9.30 p.m., on HBO Lennox. Congratulations. Thank this is you. Nice Thanks for having me. Come on back. All right. uh, Lennox Lewis, everybody, the heavyweight champ. Want to take a break when we come back? Don Knotts.